Hi guys and welcome back to yet another tutorial video. If you are new here, you are most welcome. My name is Chinyo Richichi for short. And if you're a time subscriber, thanks for always coming back. These days for ladies to look good, they can go any length for them to look good or have their desired look. And for fashion designers, we are not left out in helping our ladies look that good, okay? And talking about looking good, some of my ladies go under the knife to make sure they have their desired look. And for some of us that are scared for our dead lives, you know, and who still want to have our desired curve in the right places, we the fashion designers are here to help you out so with that being said guys today we are going to be constructing a hip pad for the hip pad we have the ready-made ones but for some of us that love diy like myself i'm going to be showing us how to make your hip pad from start to finish so guys if this is the one you're interested in please do try back relax and enjoy and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a like and drop your thoughts in the comment section below so guys without further ado let's dive right into the hip padding tutorial <music> So for the foam padding, I'm going to be using this half inch foam pad. For the pattern as well, I'm going to be using this pattern. This I initially used this for a fish skirt, hence the shape you are seeing at this lower part. But that's not a part of our consign as far as this is consigned. We're just going to be using the pad that we need for this tutorial. So this is the upper part, that's the waist part of the area and everything is going to be terminating at this point. Just ignore the fish shape at the lower part, okay? So basically to start with, I'm going to be using this point for the length of my short skirt so that's where i'm going to be using and then at this point i come down by one inch from the waist area and then at the tail end of the skirt length as a short skirt length i come up by two inches and then from the side of the skirt i'm going to be coming in by four inches okay so take note the waist i came down by one inch the lower part by two and then from the side i came in by four inches and then i connect all the points together so this is what it looks like please note that this is the front part of the skirt so for this sharp point i'm going to be curving it out i'm not going to be leaving it as sharp as it looks so i just with the help of my curve rule i just um shaping that part to give me a little more curve so at this point i'm going to be marking out the up and the down so that by the time i cut out i'm not confused as that where should be the up and where should be the down so that's it for the front so i come to the back i'm going to be coming down by one inch just like i did to the front and then from the center of the back after the zipper allowance i'm going to be coming in by one inch as well and for the distance between the hip and the skirt length i divide it by two okay so whatever that gives me i divide it by two and i get the midpoint so i'm going to be marking that point so i think this point gave me about 10 inches or 9.5 and then i get the midpoint and then i mark that point okay so this is the midpoint of the distance between the hip and the skirt length so at this point i'm going to be coming inward i'm going to be coming inward by four inches okay so i come in by four inches and then i'm going to be uh coming up from the lower part by two inches remember what we did to the front so i come up by two inches and then i connect the, all the points together so from the waist to this uh, center back and then to this other point as you can see me do so to this point and then to this other point like so for the back i have four points and the front we have three points and just like we curved the front at the sharp edge like so we are going to be doing the same thing to this back okay so you can see we mark also up and down so that we're able to differentiate so at this point i'm cutting out our padded uh pattern for the hip so this is the front pattern and then we have the other one to be the back okay so this is what it should look like by the time you hold them together so we are going to be cutting our uh, foam pad with these our uh, patterns so i'm going to be cutting them in in pairs okay so i'm cutting this in two and i cut the other one two in two okay and please also note that as you cut your foam pad you mark out so that you don't get confused because by the time you um, separate everything or take it out without marking out you'll be confused as, as which side is to which side okay so as you cut you just mark it out and note the up the down and every other thing that is necessary so i can see i have everything cut out i have this part to so have this part in two as well okay so it's time for us to now um shape it we are not going to be leaving the edges as sharp as this so that it's not looking too artificial so i'm going to be trimming the side as much as i can so that it looks very natural okay you don't just use it like that and place you'll be looking like i don't know i don't want to say anything at this point so you just trim off as much as you can at this point you just have to be patient with yourself so that you can trim off everything you need to be any everything that needs to be trimmed off okay so you just make sure that the edge is not as high as the other center part of the uh, pad of the padded 
of the foam i mean sorry so you just do that to all the sides like so okay so as you can see we have it all all trimmed uh the next thing we're going to be doing at this point is that we're going to be joining the two together okay for the two uh, sides of the hip you can see this is what we're going to be doing you can use gum to do that or you can stitch or you can tack whatever whichever one it's easier for you just do that if you can use um, gum you use so next thing to do is to get uh this is a um, paper stay i'm going to be covering it with a paper stay just like just to mimic the ready-made one okay all we, are, all we want to do here is to make a ready-made pad pad uh pad for the hip where am i stammering at this point so i'm going to be placing a, a piece of fabric on it and then i iron it like so so i'm going to be doing that to all the four pieces and then i'm going to be marking out just leaving out about half an inch or quarter of an inch at the sides of the whole thing and then i cut out like so okay so after cutting out the four piece this is what you should have and you're going to continue and you also iron so that it can the paper stick can lay flat or gum or stick to the foam okay so after that after you're done ironing the paper stick on the foam so that it can stick together yours is supposed to come out looking like this and at this point we are not done with the ironing so at this um leftover that we have here you're going to be using your ironing to stick it together so that it's in the edges and not left open okay so you do that to all the four parts and our padded hip is almost it's ready not almost ready just in case you are ready to use at this point you also come back to your pattern because we have covered it with the paper stay you come back with your pattern place it on the on the padded hip and then you mark out the up and down to be able to differentiate so for this uh, part that we're going to be stitching together we're going to be cutting that out okay leaving out every other side so you cut out this part of the of the stay you cut it out so that you can you'll be able to hold your piece your two uh, uh, padded hip together you, okay like i said you can use gum you can use um you can stitch you can tack whatever you want to do so that's basically how you go about your padding for your hip for whatever you want to use it for for me i'm going to be using my hand needle to tack um the two together because that is easier for me the the using of the usage of gum it's kind of too challenging for me so I normally would not use the gum so i will just use my hand to tack it and make sure that and as you tack remember this is foam so you don't pull or apply too much pressure because if you do that you're going to waste your pad your padded hip okay so after that this is what our padded hip looks like and see that it's already taking the shape that you want so that's how your pad you make your padded hip from your foam from scratch to finish so this is what it looks like so try this out and let me know how easy it is because i can bet it's so easy to make so this is basically how we go about our hip padding and then this is ready for use for your dress for your skirt whatever you want thank you for watching and see you in my next one bye